Hello again. I've repurpled my hair. I'm having a great day. I hope that you are too. I've talked about affirmations here before, but I ran across an idea that I liked very much. There's a writer and speaker named Joseph Murphy who had a secret as revealed on this YouTube video that I found. He thinks not only do you want to have positive affirmations, thoughts of things that you want to feel and be, but include questions. Try to find the profound questions that go with the things that you want. For example, I might say, I am healthy, I am energized. The question would be, how can I energize myself? How can I make myself more healthy and my stamina greater? Well, that would probably be the an, uh, an answer of exercise. But the key is to ask the questions and let your subconscious mind work on it. For example, I would like to become a speaker what I'm doing seems to be mindset coaching. So I may ask, Universe, how may I contact people who need my help? How can I find people who can afford my help? And then, how can I provide a life-changing experience, something to really change the way the person feels about themselves. Something that is not only an epiphany or a thought on its own, but will help them open questions. And that brings us back to this idea here. Some questions can go with those affirmations. A question isn't a doubt. A question is a request. You know, like when you're asking someone, could you hand me that, right? Well, they don't have to think about how they can hand you that very much, usually. But you make the request to let them know that you need it. So along the way to your self-empowerment, along with a lot of positive thoughts about yourself and about others, insert some questions. Write them down before you go to sleep, if you'd like. Maybe just one really good question about something that you feel is in the fabric of your changes. There's a question. What are the elements inside the fabric of my changes? After all, it's the how things happen that usually causes the space between I see this happening, I picture it, and actually doing it. It's not just, I see myself improving my tennis serve. It's asking, where can I learn to improve my tennis serve? How can I change my balance to make it best? These are questions that are meant to be introduced to help with practice, to help with connecting with people, and of course, finding things, just like where did I put my keys? It's good to think positively. I know I'm going to find my keys. I can see myself holding them in my hand. But then there's that question. You know, where did I leave them? And that's where I'm going to leave you for now. Insert some questions along with those positive affirmations. And I strongly suggest if you can still your mind as much as possible just get into the gap between words. You will find yourself with answers coming to you from the silence and those good questions and your inspiration to do so much more. All right, now the question is, what can you do with this advice? Have a great day.